Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Glenn here, and welcome back to another Transformers review. This time we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Rhinox. There he is, and here is his box. Like always, we'll take a look at the box first. Here's Rhinox in his beast mode, in his robot mode. War of Cybertron Trilogy. He is a Voyager Transformers. He is a Maximal. There's his number. King to Mars. And there is the specs on the back. We'll always, well, most definitely put it in, back in the box bottom. And now here is Kingdom Rhinox in his beast mode. Like, I can't believe I actually got my hands on Rhinox. He was at my local Walmart yesterday when I went out yesterday. And so I found him and I picked him up. So here is Kingdom of Rhinox. And obviously his beast mode, nice, very nice detail. It feels good too, like all this, very great detail. Right up here is soft, like, oh my gosh, keep hitting the camera. Very smooth. There is his face, you know, big old nostrils. There's his horns, his eyes, red for the eyes. And you got all this kibble at the bottom. And we will take a look at his accessories. And the only accessory he comes with is his Gatling gun weapons that he had in Beast Wars, the show. They look very nice. Nice silver and gold. The other one, same, silver, gold. And they can just put together by via these tabs and slots. Line them up, tap them in, and there you go. We'll put these off to the side and take a look at them in a little bit. Well, four key Pearsons, comparisons. Uh, here we have a Rhinox next to, let me get him sitting right here. Hold on. Primal. And obviously you can do something that is pretty funny that they did in the show. Primal can indeed. Come on. <laughs> ride on. <laughs> Primal can indeed ride on Rhinox. He doesn't stay very balanced though. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I have my phone. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, that was funny. Anyway, next, well, lastly, here we have Rhinox next to Dinobot. Let me hunch him over a little bit. There we go, Dino Bot, right there. Boom. Now, now we will talk about this man before we get into transformation, like always. Um. Well, a couple things that I want to say about Rhinox, that he's not a bad figure, but he, he's not the best. He's all right. Like, I was hoping that Rhinox would have been better with, um, you know, the Rhino mode is phenomenal. The robot mode is too, but I kind of, kind of wish the robot mode could have gotten more pizzazz, like more, uh, just a lot more different things in it, what it has. And I think the transformation 
could have been better. Like, the figure's not bad. The figure is relatively good. But, I just think that the robot mode could have looked better. And hey, all y'all have y'all uh, have your own opinions about a lot of different things, and I have mine. So, yeah, I have my opinions. You all have yours. It is what it is. So, yeah, I just think that um, Rhinox is. Uh, Robot mode could have looked better. It doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad. But I just think that it could have looked a bit better. Like, I've seen pictures of um, the Kingdom uh, Waspinator for Next Wave. And that figure is about the same for me. Like Rhinox. It's a bit iffy because, you know, like some things I do like about him and some things is a bit meh, I think. Because, like, they don't really have to change much from the Generations versions of Waspinator and Rhinox. Like, Rhinox, I know they could have changed the look, but the transformation could have been similar. I don't have the Generations Rhinox, never owned it, but I'm just saying, like, it could have been relatively the same. But I do like how some things in this figure that transforms that I like. And you'll see. I'll tell you guys in a second when I when we get into the transformation. But... He's not bad. I'll just leave it at that. He's not bad. I do like him. He's not bad. His guns look his guns look great. He's not bad. So anyway, with all of that chat said, let's get into a transformation with this big man. <laughs> well, first thing you want to do is you just want to come back here to these to this section here the smooth part and just take your finger now and just pry these open like that untap the back his buttocks and just take the feet here and just pull them out of inside that cavity there my hands are a bit sweaty so it's kind of hard a little hard to do that anyway now you can just untab these back sections all right now you can just untab this section and just bring it down and tab it into that section there same thing on the side, untab it, bring it down, tab into that section. Okay. Whoa. Kind of messed up there. Okay. I'll raise this up. You can just, you basically just fiddle around with it until you get it going you just fiddle with it for for a little bit okay at the foot or the back leg you just want to bring it up rotate it now you can pull it in there there you go there's that done Bring this up. I swear, I'm going to watch... Oop, I hit the camera, sorry. I'm going to watch a video about somebody transforming Rhinox, and this part's going to snap. Because this part is, like, way 
way too tight. All right, there we go. Now, before you put this in, you just want to take the foot and just untab the foot, bring it around, and just bring it up. Then just take this back section and just put it flush up against that. Now you got one leg almost all done. Same thing for the other side. Get that leg out of the way. You just want to just rotate, bring it up, rotate this foot around. Put it like that. Give me one second. All right, much better. Now, now we just take the foot, bring it up, bring it around, and just pull it flat. Pull this back section up and around into that cavity and it shall tab in. Bring that down. down. Oops, sorry, TV. <laughs> My bad. Pull these out, or you can pull these up. Pull them. And hinges them back, like so. Come on, pull these out. Flip, pull them down. Pull it out like that. Now, you just put these thigh pieces out like that. Now, to finish up the leg portion, scratch my neck first, <laughs> take these flaps and just bring them up, just tab them in, just tab them in, there you go, legs all done, there you go, now you want to take the rhino head section here, just take it and pull it back. Actually, just pull it back enough. Then you want to take this whole section and just hinge this forward. Hinge that forward. There you go. You got a shoulder there. Same thing on the other side. Just hinge this forward. Hinge this back. Flip it around. There you go. Rotate the head around. Now you can take this whole head back section and just hinge it down. It's on a hinge. It just hinges up and hinges back down. Now for the chest piece section, which is my favorite section to transform, just flip this out. Flip these little two panels out. And there you go. You got the little chest section. I love that. That's my favorite part. Love that. Now for the arms, you just want to take this, rotate it around. Flip this green panel up, and you just pull out the hand, and flip that green panel back down. There you go, one hand all done. Same thing on the side. Just rotate it around, flip this green panel up, and just flip out the hand, which is very hard to get out because my hands are very sweaty. And just pull that panel down. And there you go. We are all done. Hopefully that uh, was very good on camera. Well, anyway, here we have Rhinox in his robot mode. And the robot mode, don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad. But I don't think, uh, I think they could have touched some things up here. But anyway, for comparisons, here we have Primal next to Renux. They look great together, by the way. My fandom of Beast Wars is coming out. And here we have Danabot next to Rhinox. Come on, stand up. Stand up, man. Come on, stand up. There you go. Yeah. 
My god. My god, do I love this. <laughs> like, my fandom of Beast Wars is so great, and I can't believe I have these figures of Beast Wars. And you just want to untap the guns again. And you can indeed put them in his hand. My god, man, do these figures these figures are so good. We got Tigertron and we're done for the Maximals. Got Scorponok and Waspinator left for the Predacons. There we go. My god, dude. I'm fangirling so hard right now. I mean, this is awesome, dude. All right, just take the guns out of his hands. And we'll get on to articulation. My lord, man. Ah, I'm sorry. Anyway, for articulation purposes, his head, his head can rotate back and forth, up and down. There is a waist rotation. In and out movement at the arm. Rotation at the shoulder. Hinge forward at, it's like a butterfly joint, sort of, I guess you could say. But it's for transformation, but you could say it's a butterfly joint, I'm guessing. You could say, if you want. It's your figure, you can say what you want. Bend at the elbow. Swivel at the bicep, and that's it for the upper portion. Now, for the lower portion, high kick, back kick, knee bend, and a pivot. And that is it for articulation. And let's get a good look close up here of the train looks. Some nice gold and silver detail on the lower jaw. Some nice silver and red for the eyes on the head. Some nice detail for the rhino bits. Nice green detail. Nice gold detail for his crotch piece. Good job, man. <laughs> nice gray here for the legs. Nice black and uh, gray and white. And green for his entire body. Nice. And uh, that is it for the review. I really like this figure. And I hope you guys did too. If you did, click the like button. Click subscribe button down below. And click that notification bell down below. To stay updated on every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.